And on this anniversary of Brown versus Board of Education, a look at the government's role in housing segregation. What the federal government did was guarantee bank loans for construction and development on condition that no homes be sold to African Americans. And historians find a wooden puzzle once given to immigrants at Ellis Island. It's kind of like a smushed up Mr. Potato Head, seven pieces, an eye, a nose, a mouth, and then an ear that's broken up into four separate pieces. Those stories coming up in this hour of All Things Considered after the news. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Lakshmi Singh. The White House and the FBI are under mounting congressional pressure to turn over any documents that could pertain to the federal investigation into Russian meddling in the election and possible collusion with the Trump campaign. NPR's Vanessa Romo says three congressional committees are pressing for answers a week after the president made the highly controversial decision to fire his FBI director. The Senate Judiciary Committee issued two letters today, one to the White House and the other to the FBI that each side deliver all memos, recordings, or transcriptions of the meetings between former FBI Director James Comey and President Donald Trump and top members of his administration. They're also demanding a look at all documents pertaining to the Clinton email investigation. The deadline for both is May 24th. The Senate Intelligence Committee sent a separate letter to Comey asking that he testify before their panel in open and closed sessions. Both requests follow a letter by Republican Jason Chaffetz, chairman of the House Oversight Committee, who on Tuesday asked the FBI for copies of the now infamous Comey memos. Vanessa Romo, NPR News, Washington. Trump says he's being unfairly attacked, especially by the press. No politician in history. Did I say this? With